Well, Cornell uh, Medicine and New York Presbyterian Hospital have a long tradition of excellence, really. I have just recently joined the department and joining a uh, excellent group of individuals that have been providing care in New York City to their patients. We are ranked six in the country. We have uh, comprehensive programs in both adult and pediatric urology, but we really provide expertise um, in um, oncology, prostate cancer, as well as other oncologic uh, diseases, pediatric urology, female pelvic medicine and reconstruction, male infertility, we have a renowned comprehensive program in male infertility as well, um, endourology and many areas uh, of urology. Really what we proud ourselves um, is to provide the best care that we can to our patients, comprehensive, multidisciplinary, patient-driven, patient-focused care. Health disparities is an incredibly important and emerging issue within healthcare. Uh, our new chairman, Dr. Rodriguez, is committed to, uh, uh, to, to looking at those disparities and, and addressing them. We have very different patient populations, as you might imagine here in New York City. Uh, the, the, the typical patient from Manhattan may not be the same as the typical patient from Brooklyn, as well as the typical patient from Queens. And I think there's strength in that diversity. Uh, but within that, diversity also means that uh, different patients need different types of care. For example, the types of cancer that, that a patient might experience because of different uh, demographic origins uh, is of concern. Access to care is critical. The types of care that different patients and, and different patient groups are interested in uh, matters a lot as well. My focus uh, in particular um, is on the microsurgical treatment of obstructions, blockages of the ducts, and the ducts are extremely tiny, uh, two to three times the diameter of one of the hairs on your head, so it requires microsurgery. Um, my main contribution to the field is I pioneered microsurgical treatment for male infertility. I consider myself uh, what uh, is still called a triple threat uh, surgeon, uh, scientist, teacher. I enjoy all three. I spend almost an equal amount of time uh, on all three. Uh, my biggest passion is taking care of patients and operating. A key uh, feature in understanding prostate cancer is us realizing that uh, there's a tremendous variability in how patients do. Some patients do very well and some patients do very poorly. So you can't treat every man the same. They need customized treatment and we need to learn more about why the disease is variable to understand who to treat with what types of things and that's why I do the research I do. The clinical trial portfolios we have here at Wild Cornell Medicine uh, within the Department of Urology for men with prostate cancer are really robust and it really spans the spectrum of the earliest disease to the most advanced disease and really understanding within all that spectrum how do we optimize men's treatment for their individual disease. One of the most exciting uh, aspects of prostate cancer research that's come out of Weill Cornell uh, is the focus on new imaging for prostate cancer uh, surrounding mo a molecule called PSMA which allows us to better see tiny amounts of prostate cancer, to know where it is, and to better target it as well. The Cornell Residency Program has been in existence for over 100 years. In its current incarnation, we are a six-year program, five years of clinical training, one year of research. The research year is something we're quite proud of. Not a lot of programs in the country have it. We have our residents do all sorts of things during that research year. We have residents in the lab. We have residents at different institutions. Our residents have an ex opportunity to go abroad to Austria for an exchange program. Um, we have a variety of different urologic subspecialties and fellowships available. Our fellowships include andrology, or male infertility and sexual medicine. They include female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery. They include uh, uh, urologic oncology. Uh, we cover the entire breadth of, of subspecialties. We have three separate urology fellowship programs here. The first is our urologic oncology program. It's an SUO accredited two-year fellowship with uh, a number of different uh, subspecialists within the field. They include Dr. Doug Schur, Dr. Jim Hu, Dr. Chris Barbieri, uh, Dr. Tim McClure. Uh, the fellowship is terrific in that it encompasses world leaders, thought experts from all facets of urology oncology, uh, from both the basic science perspective, uh, clinical medicine, health outcomes research. Uh, it, it, it's a terrific and very complete fellowship. We have a female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery fellowship that is a joint collaboration between ourselves, 
the Department of Obstructions and Gynecology, Department of Colorectal Surgery, as well as the Rehabilitation Medicine uh, Department. I've been part of the urology department here at Weill Cornell for over 20 years. I've uh, been a medical student here at Weill, as well at Weill Cornell. And uh, as a big part of the department, we've grown it to a big extent. And, uh, we are, and my work focuses uh, on providing the best and most advanced care in lower urinary tract symptoms as those that are affected by the enlarged prostate or BPH. We do most of our research at the Iris Cantor Men's Health Center and I'm actively involved in patient care and research that can be translated to better clinical care using what we have learned to advance and refine our, our treatments as well as publish and teach to others including our residents, faculty, and urologic colleagues around the world. The future for the Department of Urology here at Cornell is really one of growth. Growth of our clinical programs, growth of our research programs to continue to innovate. What we really would like to do is to eradicate urologic disease. Can we find ways to prevent these conditions from developing? Can we treat them early when they happen? But all for the aim of really providing the best care that we can for our patients.